I'm Sue Radman. I'm the forester with the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. So we're out here today on the Delta Junction Bison Range and we're burning the fields uh, that are um, a habitat for the bison in between seasons. And the reason we do prescribe fire out here is so that we reinvigorate some of the grasses that they like to eat and also to keep some of the shrubs back. So normally, anytime you cut down the forest, it automatically regenerates itself. So we'll get aspen and willow coming back and other plants, and then oh, eventually the spruce will come back in as well. So um, in order to keep this bison habitat and keep it into the plants that they like to eat and to keep them attracted to this place um, here on the state lands, then we burn it every couple of years. Well, we, if we burn annually, then we can burn all of the parts every couple of years and keep those forage plants fresh. By incorporating fire into this process, we're doing a couple of things. We're encouraging nutrient cycling. We're also getting rid of that grass mat that can tend to build up over time of some of the grasses that the bison don't like to eat. So then we're stimulating those fresh native grasses that they do like better. And by incorporating fire into this process, you can do a lot more acreage in a much shorter period of time than you can mechanically with the implements that we use here at the Bison Range. Using fire is part of the natural landscape here. So when we use it to turn these plants over, we reset succession. And so then we're getting fresh aspen, fresh willows to grow up as well. And moose really like those plants. So not only are we benefiting bison on the bison range, there's lots of other animals that benefit here too. We've seen lots of sharp tail grouse and other grouse species that live in this area. And by giving them different age classes of aspen, then they have all of the brood and cover and different life stages of aspen that they need over time. The people we work with have a lot of experience with fire in Alaska. Using fire in a prescribed way under conditions that we have already tested through skill, through these software models we use, allows us to have fire when we plan it. The benefits of that are we can communicate with the community, with people passing through the community, with businesses. Putting prescribed fire closer to town lowers this fuel hazard and that's the same fuel hazard that could otherwise burn and potentially burn down homes and hurt people. It's a planned event. We've got all the suppression agencies aware of the event and the community's aware of the event. So now we can protect people, support wildlife all at the same time.